a bid for the architectural concept of the National Space Center was announced in 2019. UNK was awarded the contract. The complex of the central buildings is located in Moscow on the side of one of the leading enterprises of the Russian rocket and space industry, developing and producing space launch vehicles, rocket upper stages to them, as well as orbital modules. The National Space Center will be the largest space object in the world. Its area will be 250,000 meters square. Once construction is completed, the complex of buildings of the center will house subdivisions with quite different functions, central office and situation, center of the Roscosmos State Corporation for Space Activities, educational center, business support center, headquarters of rocket and space industry organizations, youth design offices and a production diversification center. In addition to the production facilities of the rocket and space industry, it is planned to accommodate branch departments of leading technical universities of Moscow in the complex. Combining so many different functions in one building in terms of engineering systems, design features, logistics and security of the facility was no easy task. When designing the National Space Center, UNK applied the principle of modularity. It was borrowed from the rocket and space industry. The building of the center consists of several modules just like the Russian space station Soyuz. There is a central block along building with research laboratories and offices and various elements are docked to it. This made it possible to realize such a large scale facility without a crossing filling of its size. The dominant feature of the building complex is the triangular tower with a spire. The 47 story tower is 288 meter, 945 feet tall, including the spire. Quarters of Roscosmos and will also house Mission Control Center. Its Silhote evokes associations with the vertical aspiration upwards and rocket takeoff. The tower is adjoined by a long building consisting of several key blocks. A central gallery extends across the building, symbolizing the ribbon of time and telling the story of space exploration. The facades of the building complex will be designed in the same style using glass and thin aluminium plates. The roof will be made in the form of the Ross Cosmos logo, making it another facade that will be visible from many places in Moscow. The lighting of the facades will play a big role. The main emphasis is placed on the tower as it is the architectural and semantic center of the complex. The creation of the National Space Center should give an impetus to the further development of the space industry in Russia. It will create more than 20,000 jobs employing engineers of various branches of the rocket and space industry. The adjoining territory will be landscaped, public spaces, open-air expositions will be created. Access to the site of the National Space Center will be free not only for the company's employees but also for all those interested in space. Russian President 
Vladimir Putin during his State of the National Address to the Federal Assembly ordered the Moscow government and the Roscosmos State Space Corporation to create the National Space Center. According to the President, the center should unite key organizations, design bureaus, and production facilities and ensure carrying out scientific research and training staff. Putin stressed that for a true revolution in the sphere of communications, navigations, and the creation of Earth's remote sensing system, Russian satellites constellation needs to be significantly increased. Russia has unique technologies for that, but such tasks demand fundamental upgrading of the entire space sector. Roscosmos chief Dmitry Rogozin told reporters on the awareness day the National Space Center in Moscow is expected to start operations in three and a half years. This project was presented to the president and he backed it. Now we will start working with the Moscow government and I believe and this center will start operation in three and a half years according to our estimates. Rogozin said. Some 20,000 designers and engineers of Roscosmos will gather at one place, he noted. The National Space Center will be created on the territory of the Krunicev Center's plant. Thanks for watching this video till the end and do subscribe to the channel to get the latest update on construction videos around the world.